everyone, welcome to Pretty Life Crochet. My name is Taylor and today I'm going to show you how to make the lion heart cowl. I use less than one full ball of Lion Brand Yarns Wool Ease Thick and Quick and we're just going to do a few rows of single crochet and single crochet in the back loop only. And it's um, I've been obsessed with the Mobius shape. So the Mobius shape is when it's a figure eight and so we're going to start with the starting chain and then we're gonna make a twist and then continue on after that. You don't need to twist anymore. You just do it the one time. So this is a cowl, so it just goes right around your neck. And I thought it was a pretty cool shape um, and I think it'll fit really great underneath like a winter coat. And you can either keep it up over your neck like this and it's super cozy, this, or you can fold it down and have it like more rolled. Or, um, yeah, I love the texture of this yarn because you can really play with it and have it stick up and do like half roll or roll the whole thing. But um, I just thought this was a really cool shape. It uses one ball of the uh, Wool Ease Thick and Quick. And uh, so it's pretty affordable. So if you like this shape, I actually have a few other Mobius shawls. Um, I plan on making more scarves as well, or cowls. It's, um, I think it's more of a cowl. But um, this is a pretty simple tutorial, so if you like it, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing and stay tuned for more patterns. So to begin this project, we're going to start with a simple chain. And to do that, we'll need to make a slip knot to attach the yarn to our hook. If you need any beginner tutorials, I have a whole bunch of them. I will put a link in the description box below so you can go check those out if you need help with things like slip knot and chain. So here we are going to start with a chain of 50. Once you finish the chain, you're going to make sure that it's all flat and not twisted because we are then going to insert our hook into the very first chain and make a slip stitch and that will close this and make it a circle. Now we are going to chain one and insert a single crochet into each stitch around. Now that you have completed row one, what you're going to do is leave the very end open and you're not going to slip stitch like you normally would. You're actually going to take the left side of your work and you're going to flip it towards you and you're going to continue to single crochet into the bottom of that chain. Continue single crocheting until you come back to this very first chain and stitch that you made and that is what is going to create this Mobius twist. This is the only time that you will need to twist your work. And you can also hold on to that tail of yarn and you can stitch over it and what that does is it will just go ahead and weave in that end for you so you will have one less end to weave in at the end. And here we have finished row one. 
And to close this one off, we are just going to slip stitch to the top of the first stitch. And here I'm going to remove my hook really quick to show you the shape that it will be in. You want to make sure that one side can lay flat and the other side has this fold in it. And that fold is actually the twist. And here I'm just going to snip off that little tail that we already weaved in. So one less thing to weave in later. Before moving on to row two, you can move that twist towards the middle and you can see the Mobius shape forming. And we are just going to start another row and continue in this figure eight shape. Row two, we will chain one, turn your work towards you, and you're going to insert your hook at the top of the stitch instead of under it. And this is going to be the single crochet in the back loop only. So insert your hook at the top of the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through both loops. And we will continue this down the entire row. So insert your hook at the top, not underneath. So turn your work towards you so you can see it a little bit better. Insert your hook through the top, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through both loops. And continue this for the rest of the row. After a few stitches, you'll be able to see that it creates this cool ridge. This is um, similar to the one in the Make It Happen Mobius Shaw. And I just wanted to show you what you're going for with this stitch so you know you're doing it correctly. It may be a little hard to see, but down here we have the very beginning of our row and we are on the halfway point right now. So I just wanted to show you what the halfway point looks like. So now you will need to continue the stitch all the way around until you get to that first stitch that we made at the beginning of the row. At the end of row two, we are going to slip stitch to the top of that first stitch. And on to row three, you're going to chain one and repeat the single crochet in the back loop only. So insert at the top of the stitch and continue this single crochet in the back loop only for a total of six rows. So rows two through seven are just going to start with a chain one and a single crochet in the back loop only all the way around, finishing with a slip stitch on each row. This is the end of row three, and I just wanted to show you what it will look like when you make it to this point. And finish with a slip stitch to the top of the first stitch. shape after row three continue this stitch pattern until the desired length I did mine until row seven and what we will do now is do a slip stitch and tie off and then clip the leftover yarn and weave it in favorite tools it's used for chunky yarn so it's flexible so you're able to get your chunky yarn into the darning needle and if you run out of yarn or short of yarn that's why it has this extra long slot so it comes in handy um, if I don't calculate things well 
And so we are going to slip stitch and pull it tight and then use our cool darning needle. This is Susan Bates. I'll put a link in the description box below where you can get it on Amazon. Since I can't see the seam so much on the other side, I'm going to weave in my ends on the side that's already facing out. And then once I'm done, I'm going to turn it inside out. Now we will turn it inside out and the cool thing about this is that it is reversible and you could wear it either way so this is kind of upside down to me I've been wearing the ridged side towards the top of my neck but you could very well have it the other way so I've been wearing it this way with the ridge at the top but I like it both ways and I love that it is reversible and so if you enjoyed this pattern today please give this video a thumbs up share it on any social media you would like. Consider subscribing to the channel and we'll see you back here with more crochet patterns. Happy crocheting!